Session 6. Tonight, we're going to do a little bit more of a laid-back thing. Um, I don't particularly feel great today. Um, so I don't, I don't want to, like, really have to try that hard. <laughs> so we're playing Civ on Warlord difficulty. Um, there was a Supers mod that was introduced that's got a whole bunch of civilizations that are uh, from the various superhero stuff, uh, Marvel and DC both. Um, I'm going to play a Stan Lee, which reportedly is kind of overpowered um, as far as civilization goes, but like I said, we're, we're not trying to play serious tonight, we're not doing anything hard, we're just going to play, have fun and see where that takes us. So let's go ahead and get the game started. I left the other civilizations random, but they should all be superheroes. It shouldn't be anything like from normal civilization at all, I believe. Let's let's find out. Look at that description perfect so you can see this is why he's considered overpowered he's got all the stuff for like five different or six different one two three four five six seven seven different civilizations um and their various stuff so i mean it goes right off the screen there's so much stuff going on with him but uh every now and then you just got to take a moment and just chill and this is what I feel like chilling with today. So we'll see how this goes. <laughs> yeah, I know, Cruiser, it is tragic. Uh, also, just real quick, I want to apologize to everybody who expected a Wednesday delivery of the last Dark Souls episode. Uh, I... I did everything that I usually do to set a video ready to go to YouTube, except put a time for it to switch from private to public. So, yeah, it's there now, for sure. Um, I just double checked. Yeah, let's go ahead and begin this game. Look, we got some free boosts. Heck yeah, like a lot of them. <laughs> okay, so, uh, so yeah, we'll just go ahead and settle here. Yeah, New York. New York, New York. And the first thing we're going to build is a scout. We're going to click through all of these, all these boosts that we got here. Choose our research. Let's see, we got some citrus and bananas, crab, copper, rice, uranium. Um, food will, of course, be the most important thing right off the bat. So I think we'll go with irrigation. Yeah. yeah there. We'll do that first. And then unit needs orders. We gotta have our dude here scout around. So I guess we'll just head south with him. See where this takes us. Right over there. Oh, new continent discovered. We're playing on a, a Pangea type map. So it's gonna be one big kind of landmass with a few outlying islands is what it should look like. Uh, just across the river. And along the coast or let's sit inland organisms a little bit. Don't think of CO2 as a poison. Plants and organisms that make shells coral. Think of it as a building block. Mm hmm. We got ourselves the Great Barrier Reef. Civilization has accomplished something historic, worthy of big. Okay. Our city-state neighbors have made a. Okay. Oh, we have met a city-state too, Mohenjo-Daro. They want us to recruit a great what writer? 
Well, that shouldn't be terribly difficult. Um, what does the Great Barrier Reef do? Let's check it. A two-tile natural wonder that can be found on coastal terrain and provides plus three food and plus two science. Well, it looks like this is going to be a great space for second city type territory. So we'll hold on to that for a second. And go ahead and advance. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Let's go ahead and head over here. Oh, hold on. I'm going to have to... Where are tutorials at? Advisor. Uh, disabled. There we go. Okay. Choose production. Uh, when are we getting one turn for that? Can we do anything in a very short amount of time? Can make another scout. Let's uh, let's do a slinger. Yeah, let's do a slinger. And then you, my boy, are gonna head north. No man ever wetted clay and then left it. At his best, man is the noblest of all animals. So policies plus one faith in gold and there are still barbarians. Well, for now we'll do double experience. All right, choose civic. We need to go for, I mean, like really there's no reason for us to hold off on political philosophy. Um, not a strong religion game gonna be played here, I think. So we'll just queue up to go there. So that way we can get our uh, our government unlocked. And we'll also get the government plaza. So this will be fantastic. So you go across into there. And you. Uh, yeah. Yeah, there we go. Olives. Nice. And nice. Yeah. All right. Oh, tribal village. So now your new goal is to move there. And you, let's move inland. Ooh, the barbarians. Well, we're going to have to move around and look for their scout. Hopefully he's not closing in on our city here. Production. I mean, really. Let me look at the gold purchase here. A builder, 130. Yeah, that's the cheapest thing to produce. I guess we'll go ahead and get a granary so we can get more citizens and we'll start you on the track up there you however Yervin wants us to create a great merchant. Nice. So we got a couple of trade partners too as soon as we get that unlocked. Well, that's the positive aspect of trade, I suppose. <laughs> Spe speaking of having that unlocked. Stirred up together. Unfortunately, neither of them wanted us to do a trade route. How much does a trader cost again? 110. Worth worth every penny. I'm not purchase tile uh, production. How many turns would it take me to make a trader? Four? I think. Yeah, we'll hold off on that for a moment. Try to grab that the old-fashioned way. Hmm. 
So I guess I'll have my warrior start sweeping back towards our city, so that way we can see if there's anything down here beneath this little bit of mountains. And then... As far as the scout is concerned... Let's head inland some more. The man who has grit enough to bring about the afforestation or the... Noise. Um, let's go ahead and get mining. Because we've got that for a few resources that are going on. And then we'll probably grab sailing. Uh-huh. Man, there is so much stuff going on around me here. Prince Lav. They want us to send a trade route. Okay. Coolio. And we also got a tribal village in there somewhere? Oh yeah, okay. So that's your new goal. As for you... I'm gonna have you head back towards the capital. Without craftsmanship. Okay, so... Combat strength on barbarians, and we'll just keep... Ah, we'll do plus two gold from trade routes. So really, I just wanted to get a Pantheon, which we just did. So let me look at what we got around us. Some luxuries, bonus, lots of bonus resources. Not a lot of any particular thing. That being said, I think that, where is the one, unless somebody already grabbed it, Divine Spark, yeah, yeah, for, uh, for doing something like this, that'd probably be a great one to have. Let's go ahead and found that Pantheon. We're getting some pretty decent arrow score here. Uh, if you've never played Rise and Fall, like this is kind of the age meter um, which basically details what type of age you will enter into in your next one. Um, right now, we are in a uh, normal age. We have to get 12 or above to avoid a dark age. We have to get to 24 or above to get a golden age, which dark ages are bad, golden ages are good. Um, you can use Dark Ages to get better, because um, if you can go into a Golden Age after a Dark Age, then you get a Heroic Age, which is amazing um, for your civilization to have. Um, but Dark Ages are kind of hard. Not so much in the beginning of the game, but definitely later in the game. So we're going to start things off right here. Go ahead and smack these guys with our Slinger. See if they can hold out. They are on a high ground. They're on a hill. So I'm hopeful that they might be able to hold out a little bit. But if they don't, they don't. You know? If they don't, they don't. I probably should get a builder. But I probably need a warrior. Decisions. A decisions. Yeah, let's go to the builder. I don't really care if that goes very poorly up there. Let's have the scout start race back. Let's see if he can help out at all. Ooh! <laughs> we have been discovered by Black Manta. A 
along the sea. So if they came from here, then they must be up this way around Mohenjo-Daro. And our slinger is available for a promotion. This turn, you shall sling. And the next turn, hopefully, they do about half of what they just did. And our unit will still be alive, and we will heal it a lot with that promotion. Let's keep our scout moving that direction. It is not the mountain we conquer, but ourselves. Oh, Mount Everest. Which is in Hattusa's territory. Are we the first for Hattusa? Yes, we are. What do they want us to do? Train a shield brother. Okay. Yeah, we are pretty firmly not going to be in a dark age. But we will still have to try to not be in a... Um, in a we'll, we'll try to get a golden age, I guess is what I'm trying to say. Let's go ahead and hit next turn. <laughs> I sent you a delegation. Accept them or die. Your delegation is most welcome. <laughs> well, let's see what happens up here. When you find yourself Ooh, they backed hole. off. Quit digging. Alright. Choose research. Let's see what we can do here. Um writing. Yeah, we're gonna need writing. I don't think that they'll be able to move and sling, because this is still hills, yes? Let us promote. And then we'll think about that. Have you move up there. And... Let's see, he sent us one. Can we send him a delegation? Oh, yes. Yes, yeah, see, we can, though. That's good. That is good. Okay. So next turn. You, my friend, should... Can we do something on this? I'm not sure. Try to go there. And then production trader, for sure, since our slinger survived that. And we've already got our scout moving up. Let's go ahead and have these guys move over. Okay. And then what's our warrior doing? Oh, there's that barbarian scout. You will sling into the Barbarians. You will move up there. Writing means sharing. It's <sighs> Next tech, let's just go ahead and get Animal Husbandry and get it out of the way. Since this is all super low level stuff here, we will build a farm. And we need some amenities, but we haven't purchased any of the luxury tiles yet. What's the next tile we're going to get? Two turns until border growth. Excellent. Go ahead, my builder friend, and get to moving there when you can. And then... I think, honestly, you can take them. Yes. Yes. A most excellent move there, Scout. So, what I mean is, is that the penalties that you get from Dark Ages, um, 
are are not as detrimental to you in the beginning of the game, but it still is kind of difficult to come out of them if you're not doing well. And if you get successive Dark Ages, then it, it can be bad. There are some civilizations where it is a great idea to let things fall apart and go into a uh, Dark Age so that you can come out in a Heroic Age, but by and large, it's better to just not have that happen at all. But I'm also, I'm like, not at all close to a pro, quote-unquote, civilization player. So, I mean, maybe I just don't know all of the uh, advanced tactics. Ooh, and there's that trader to go to Preslab, right? Yes, they're the ones that have a quest for us. Choose production, produzione. Um, man, a campus would be fantastic for us. Hanging gardens would also be great, though. But I don't know if we could pull that off fast enough. Um. But uh, you know, you know. Why don't we try? Why don't we try for the hanging gardens? We'll see if we can pull it off. So, scout. Continue on around that circle there. Slinger, you come on back. Look back over the past with its changing empire. Oh, got that early itself, empire. And you can foresee the future. Let's see, is there anything worth changing into at the moment? Honestly, getting ourselves 50% production towards settlers at the moment would probably be a really good idea. Let's go ahead and flip that in. And then... Um, for the military one, I'm honestly not sure if any of these would be a great fit for us. I guess we'll go back to double experience with recon units. Then we have a governor appointment. <laughs> oh man, I didn't know that these changed. That's awesome. They have all of the same bonus. Okay, so if you again, if you've never played Civilization 6, there's normally a list of people here and they're all like, you know, Magnus. Uh very normal type like old timey names, but now they're actually like different people from superhero mythos. And in my heart of hearts, I'm like, I Alfred is definitely the guy I should take <laughs> as my governor just because it's Alfred. But I mean, I almost never actually choose the steward, even though that's, uh, these are quite good, quite good, uh, representations of the abilities that are there. Um, let's see, for us, uh, the Diplomat is always really good, um, because it can get you suzerain status in a, in a city-state really easy, so I think we'll have to go with Lois Lane here, and then let's look at, let's look at the suzerain abilities for the city-states. What does Press Lab give? Plus two, I oh don't know, that's, yeah. You receive plus two loyalty per turn in cities for each encampment district building. Okay, that's not... I'm not... That's not it. Okay, so not Preslav. Mohenjo Daro. Um, your cities have full housing from water as if they were all next to a river, where my cities are going to be next to rivers. So that's not the one. Your Apostle units. Yeah, pass. Hatusa. Provides you with one of each strategic resources you have revealed but do not own. See, that's not great either, but the two science from every uh, from every library building might be good because we're going to work on a campus like pretty much next. But we are kind of weak in culture too, though. Hmm. 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 Yeah, we'll send her to Hattusa. 
go and make us the suzerain of Hattusa. And we'll work on a campus real quick. And in a hurry. We are granted a recon unit from that tribal village. We have plus one scout. So plus one scout, you move down this way. Bill, are you making it over there? Warrior, um, move up there. And you're going to move just further up this way. Well, you, yeah, you're moving back towards the city. Fantastic. I am fond of pigs. Choose research. Hmm, sailing. Uh, actually, bronze working. Let's reveal iron. I don't think we'll get the three barbarians to really uh, improve that vastly. Get that uh, unlocked for us. Oh yes, you. Build us a plantation. For that citrus, I think. Yeah, that'll improve our amenities, so we got that off the ground. And then your next thing is really going to be coming over here and building that mine for your final deployment there, builder. Yep. And then scout. Scouty McScout face. Several closely situated peaks resembling tiger's teeth dramatically soar about a kilometer into the sky. Torres del Paine. Where is that actually at? Is it over here? Is this Torres del Paine? Looks like it. Ah! Can we, can we move our governor? Reassign. I need you in Kumasi, like, yesterday. Assign. Go there. Miss Lane. That's much better. Oh, the suzerain bonus there is so cool. Your trade routes to any city-state provide plus two culture and plus one gold for every specialty district in the origin city. Woof. As soon as we get a campus and an amphitheater or a theater district going, or a city building, either one, haha, <laughs> uh, that'll be doing great for us. And we also discovered a tribal village. Well, sir, that's your next goal right there. And, yup. Oh no. What are you doing? You're going there. Okay, click off of you. Man, is that... I really do think that that is... Yeah, that's towards Del Paine. Two tile and passable natural wonder doubles the terrain yields in all adjacent tiles. Well, that is fantastic. Absolutely amazing. We're doing so good! We're doing so good. But I kind of expected it. I mean, I, I set it to not hard mode like on purpose so <laughs> I didn't really expect it to be a very difficult journey for us here alright next turn Uh, you will skip your turn this turn. And you will also skip your turn until they move away. Why do you justify yourself to the world? You have all the justification you need! I do what I want, black mana! Ooh, 26 gold. And you get a promotion. Plus one movement. All right, all right, all right. So let's have you swing. Fantastic. I don't... I don't think that we have flanking yet, do we? Yeah, we don't. We have cleared Barbarian Outpost, so this would be... Basically, let's see if we can distract them a little bit. Major defeat. 
Uh, we'll have you fortify up right next to him and see what they do. Ooh, what unit needs orders? Oh, you! Yes, fantastic. Build me a mine there. You're doing great, builder. I'm so glad I made you. Now, next turn. It is equally important to have a happy and engaged workforce. Let me see. Yeah, back to plus five combat experience against barbarians. And yeah, we'll confirm that for now. I guess we should have held off on the citizens one, though. I mean, we should actually just do something different, but we've already, I already clicked set, so it is what it is. I can promote Miss Lane. Yeah, we'll move you down that route because affluence is what we're going to be getting there. Still need more amenities. Can we actually just purchase a settler? Yes, we can. 210. That will wipe out our gold, but it, it may indeed be quite worth it. If I could purchase the rest of the Hanging Gardens, I definitely would, but... That being said, the Hanging Gardens is one of those ones that you usually have to compete for, and we're starting it kind of late. So maybe I should just production focus my city, and then... wait for it. I go ahead and get in there and mix it up. Unit needs orders. Where did I have you going? There and then there. I'm also interested in creating a Alright, so you will get a promotion. Battle cry. And then will this kill you entirely? Better get one more swing with the spearmen so they get a promotion too. And then I'll have... Oh no, I promoted them this turn. Dicey, I may lose that spearman. Oh well. Hmm. Hmm. Failing? Currency, ironworking. Masonry would be good, except that I don't have any pyramids. A water wheel would be pretty good. Oh. Um. Market. Commercial hub. I think sailing. Yeah, we'll do sailing. Yeah, I'll just go ahead and go back to the capital. Their first suzerain. Yes. Yes, you promote. So that way you don't die. And then you go in for the kill. Oh, yeah. It is not that life ashore is distasteful to me, but life at sea is better. A city ranged attack? Yes, get off my territory, you barbarian scum. So I guess... What would be next good for us? Um, 
Celestial navigation, do you think? Currency. Currency. Currency would be good. Or we could do a harbor. I just, I think currency will be better overall. So let's go ahead and do that. Unit need order. Units need order. Move up and move up. Okay. Now I have the surrounding terrain of my home pretty well mapped. And anything coming from this direction would have to deal with these city-states before it would be dealing with me anyways. So. Yes. One, two, three. Yeah. I think I'll, I'm going to put the second city... I don't really want to do it there, though. I think I want to do it here so I can really capture this whole coral reef type area. But I definitely want to do it on at least the coastal tile, if not here. Yeah. Two more turns and we'll be working on that settler. <laughs> and fortify. Next turn. Let us buy a builder. Unit needs orders. Let's have you move over here. You, although I just moved you back up towards the city, that was actually a mistake on my part, so we're going to move you back out. And then you, right back into the town center, and then there you will alert. Next turn. The ascent to the highest story is Ooh, by got stairs, it. and at their side of water it. engines, by means of which persons woo, woo. pointed expressly for the purpose, are continually employed in raising water from the Euphrates into the garden. So yeah, we are Golden Age territory. We're definitely going to get one next time. So if we want to make it a little easier on ourselves, we should back off for a second on doing any of the uh, other stuff. We need we need to step back for a second so that way we can get some good error score during our golden age. Um, so I think we'll build a settler and yes, continue our scouting mission. Oh, we met Babylon. Whew. They got a lot of warriors out here. Their bonus is pretty good, too. Honestly. And we did not start with a fresh one there. Or a, a free one there. That means somebody else has been down here. I wonder to whom it was. Let's look up here again. Cause I'm trying to, <clears throat> I'm trying to snipe this if I can. Oh, thank you for that. If we get really lucky we could maybe take out this unit with our scout but see they've got an archer and everything if I just like chill okay you need to improve those crabs for me make that the fishing boat and then 
We'll see how that turns out. You go across them. Oh, we met Brussels too, I guess. Yeah, Black Manta, I guess. He sent his scout down here and saw them. Cities get 15% production towards Wonders. That's a great bonus to have. Okay. Wealth consists not in having... My roads were upgraded. Oh my gosh, I'm making so much era score. Promote. Yeah, can move after attacking. That's a great one. Next technology. Um, let's go ahead and get Celestial Navigation up. That would be great. Oh no, I closed out of the chat. Hold on. There we go. Now I'm back in the chat room. Yes, excellent. Um, so you're done for now. Go ahead and build a monument, I guess. No, a sh I, can I get a shield, brother? This will give me a thing with a, the trade area over there. So yeah, that's where you're going. You sleep for now. Until I decide what else I want to improve, basically. Where's the city expanding? Let's check that. Southward. Hmm. Brussels. Start going up that direction. Divide and rule a sound motto. Oh man, we are getting we are getting a lot of stuff here. Um I think we're gonna go with Classical Republic here. So the different options we go autocracy. Um, which I actually do really like the bonuses that Autocracy gives, but the policy slots, two military, one economic, and one wild card, ugh. 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 We're not looking to, to do a big conquest victory here, I wouldn't say. Um, Oligarchy is really balanced, but I don't really like its bonuses a whole bunch. So yeah, Classical Republic going for great person points, and then a plus one housing, plus one amenity. This will be great for us. So much error score. Um, so wild card, uh, we're going to go with plus two influence points towards earning city-state envoys. And... Um, we'll do plus two gold from trade routes here for now. And... Nah, we'll just do the other green one for the moment. Choose our next civic. Let's go ahead and get flanking. That'll be done real quick. And then you, my dude, will move out. Yeah. You. Move over the there. Pantanal is the most complex intertropical alluvial plain of the planet, and perhaps the least known area of the world. The Pantanal. Fortile natural wonder. It appears as a marsh and provides plus two food and plus two culture. Not terrible. I don't really want to expand that direction, though, if I'm being completely honest. Ooh, trading post created. Yay. So... Now that we've finished with them, but knowing the ancient era, when is it going to end? Four turns. I can't get it to go back very quickly from anywhere else, so we'll just send it back to Prez's lab. 
And then, here in a minute, when it comes up, we will, uh, we'll maybe send it somewhere else. Um, but I want to wait until the next age, just in case one of these things delivers us a quest to, um, to send a trade route to them. You move out from there, and then I guess you're going to be moving, let's see if we can get you back to over like here, yeah, there we go. You, let's, oh, greetings, traveler, you should know that you stand in the presence of greatness, it is an honor to meet you. We have a city nearby. Would you like to visit? You could attend our upcoming celebration. <laughs> Wakanda forever. We would love to sample your hospitality. Jabari. Man, he got a great start. Woo. Oh, well, that's his second city, probably. Actually, let's see. Is it? Is it your second city? Yeah, because you can trade it. So that means it is definitely your second city. Oof. Yeah, he got a good good settlement here. As for you, my friend, come up here. And then and we got this barbarian encampment and scout we need to deal with. Keep that guy safe. Next turn we'll have a shield brother we can send. Oh, they want an iron, and they'll give us gold, gold, and open borders. You know what, Black Panther? Uh, I would love to trade for you um, this iron. Let me see. Can we, can we do a little bit better, though? I don't want to be greedy. Okay, so now you can't do that. So back. Can you give me... Yeah, a little bit more just off the cuff. How about 10? No. Okay. 7. 5. Yeah. 6. 5. Okay. Uh, you just, you gotta try to make a little bit more than they want to offer, because they will always offer a little bit more if you just try. So yeah, I'll accept the deal. Sure! Ooh, Red Hood! Gotham's bringer of vengeance. Would you like to visit our nearby city and sample our hospitality? Sounds like a plan. Yeah, man. Now, where is his unit coming in? Was that one down there? I don't Plus four arrow score. I'm a Sagittarius, and we're skeptical. So yeah, that's <laughs> right, Jingles. It is a weird Souls mod. Uh, there is actually a Dark Souls mod for Civilization VI, if you can believe it. I haven't really played it much, but I'm interested. I just wanted to kick back tonight, not really try that hard. But actually, seeing that Shield Brother pop and also that huge error score bonus, I, it didn't occur to me, every time you build your... Uh, signature unit for the first time, you get a pretty big error score bonus, and if if Stanley's got seven different uh, <laughs> seven different signature units, that's going to be a lot of error score. We'll probably not as have as much of a trouble as staying in a golden age as I thought we might. So yeah, you're going to move out there. Plus one envoy. So much stuff. We met Red Hood. Let's choose our production. Hall of Heroes. Oh, I forgot. You know, I wasn't even thinking about there being, like, the specific... <laughs> uh, so, yeah, we probably need to build that even though we're not really super interested in Faith because that gives us some pretty significant bonus there. <laughs> Plus one faith for trade routes to the city. Grand feast project, which grants faith when underway, and great general artist and profit points, and a small amount of XP to Asgardian units, which that part probably won't go off. Probably. But yeah, uh, how many 
let's get out of this real quick. How many turns do we have left before we go? Three. Uh, let's let's get another. Yeah, let's get another builder, and we'll send you off this direction to join the new city when it gets here. Here we get to send a new a new thing. Which one was I was Babylon? Was that the really good one? Yes, but that is a distant a distant thing. Um but just having one there would definitely be a good a good deal. Let's go ahead and do that. And then You're going to continue to escort. Can you move all the way up? Yep. Okay. So you do the same. And then... Yeah, you're going to keep moving down. You're going to keep moving down. He granted us open borders so we can move through their territory. Central Wakanda. Population of six. Yeah, that's cute. Six. I mean, good job. Good job. And our scout is slowly moving that direction. Uh-oh. I don't underrate the value of military knowledge. An unmet civilization has finished building the world wonder Stonehenge. So none of these ones, because we met them, so... Wonder who it was. Um, oh, let's go ahead and get that and see if we can. That oracle is actually a really good bonus. I kind of forgot about that. Um, here we're just going to go ahead and found the city. Gray Malkin. That's what the second city's called? Okay. And then from our now super fortified position, let's go ahead and smack the spearmen around. Uh, for you, what should be the first thing that you do? Probably a granary. Yeah, get that extra food going. You... What's your first tile? What are you trying to get? I guess it hasn't been decided yet. Uh, but yeah, you move closer, basically. And we'll decide what we're going to do with you here in a second. You're going to just keep moving across Wakandan territory. <laughs> it's funny. It's funny to me, like, the inconsistencies. I mean, like, I, I get that it can't be picture perfect, but... The very first words out of Black Panther's mouth, uh, other than like, hey, we've met you, was, uh, hey, I'd, I'd like to give you open borders if you'll give me that resource. <laughs> like, such a thing that Wakanda would have almost never done, you know? Kind of funny. Yeah, we'll go ahead and hit next turn. Spearman, yeah, has to back off, that's what I was thinking. We'll go ahead and smack you. Hmm. Yeah, go ahead and move you down with the aim to move across. Choose production in our main city. Um, well, the... It's definitely going to go off next time, right? When is the, the trade over again? One turn. So now we can go ahead and put some production towards... Like an actual building. There is nothing really that'll give us a huge faith bonus except for the two places where, like, faith stuff is already happening. Oh, we could spend 50 gold and get this, though. And then put it there. Yeah, you can remove that rainforest. It's cool. And then you. 
Honestly, we should probably build some, like, normal stuff around our city. But let's see, where are you expanding? Hasn't decided yet, because I just purchased the tile that it was trying to expand into. Because uh, we've got all of our resources with a, a thing on them already. I keep on looking at this like it's burnt, but that's actually just like the water from the the rice paddy, I guess. So yeah, probably... So can we actually... There, There is a stats page. Let's take a look at the details. We got a pretty good food surplus. We do not have very many amenities. We need more of those, but I can't get them from this builder right now. And we have 11 housing. So really, like... I don't know, more production? I guess we should just build, like, a normal mine? Yeah, let's have you go up here. And we'll build, like, a normal... I mean, honestly, we can improve the sheep, too. Yeah, I guess I'll have you do that, and put a mine here, and then when we get the bananas, I'll have you go ahead and put something there. For Grey Malkin. Uh... Yeah, let's finish this guy off. Do it, Mr. Warrior. And then you... should... Yeah, we'll build a quarry first. And... Huh. How's my other scout coming along? Let's go up there and look. Oh yeah, you're actually going to make it where I signed you. So, move you a little bit further, and I'll start taking over an actual look there. Yeah, we're doing pretty good. Next turn. The world enters the classical the era. of an accidental and individual symbol for a universal one. Oh. So we made it to a golden age. Now we have to make a dedication. Um, each of my citizens, because we're in a golden age, each of my citizens exerts a 1.5 loyalty pressure in their city, meaning it'll be easier for me to hold loyalty in, in cities where I have citizens, which is my personal cities. Um, it also affects other cities within nine tiles, but is 10% less effective per tile. It would be easier to maintain loyalty in your cities and challenge the loyalty of nearby foreign cities. I may make a dedication which will provide a powerful gameplay bonus during this age. Um, so for me, uh, let's see. Monumentality? No. <sighs> Plus one culture for each specialty district. I'm not doing bad on the science already, and I definitely want to set up an academy or a, a campus district in both my two cities pretty immediately. Um, so I think that this is going to be my yeah, this is going to be my dedication for this one. Construct an encampment, construct a commercial hub, and trigger an inspiration for recorded history. So let's choose our civic. Uh, yeah, I'm thinking it's got to be drama and poetry. And then I have to send an envoy. Um, I do not yet have one at Brussels, so let's go ahead and get one there in the very least. And then... Yeah, make it there before they do. Good job. <laughs> I just wanted to prevent this press lab and Mohanjo Dara warrior from taking that barbarian encampment and getting that uh, that bonus. So let's have you shield brothers. <laughs> I'm going to have you chill at Grey Malkin. You are going to let's look around because barbarian encampments can spawn in territory that you have Scenes. Let's just look around and make sure that there isn't another one already spawned somewhere in the territory that we've looked at. Nope. Nope, nothing there. 
So you, I'm actually just going to have go back here and heal. And then when you can, you're going to move back to New York City. Yeah, I'm going to have you move up there and hold on to New York as well. So builder, how about a quarry? Yep. Scout. Yeah, let's start managing you so we can see a little bit about what's going on up here. Other scout. What is that? Silk? Cool. It might not be a bad idea for me to uh, think about another city over here. I'm not crazy about all this desert, though, because I'm not focused around it. Oh, and there's a city-state, like, or something right there that I cannot see yet. So I'm going to have my scout move over, and we'll, we'll start going that direction. Atlantis is an oligarchy now. Okay. Uh, yeah, you come over here. You're going to heal. Actually, it's going to have you move up there. <sighs> yeah. Oh, man, I went ahead and moved you there. Let's double check. City is going to purchase there. That's really dumb. Um, we'll go ahead and build a mine here. Yep. And then you... I'm not seeing any other borders I need to worry about. So let's just keep on keeping on. I, I tend to lose my scouts pretty quick just because, like, I don't pay attention at all to where they're going. Like, I just have them go places without really thinking about it. <laughs> you should have received a delegation by now containing all of our newest weaponry. Accept it, and then please return the weapons. They aren't a gift. Uh, your delegation is most welcome, uh, Red Hood. Excellent! So now that he sent us a delegation, we should be able to send one back to him. Because they're kind of weird like that. Every now and then, you can just do it, but for the most part, you have to wait for them to send you one. Your delegation arrived in Gotham. We treated them to a world-class tour of our city compared to your dumps. What a great guy. Great guy. Oh, in our main city. Yeah, let's go ahead and build a shrine. Send an envoy to... Ah, uh, Babylon, yeah. We're now there, Suzerain. Oh, a tribal village. Where? There? Do I have any units I can send there? Not really. Well, let's mark it for now. We'll add attack... TV. Oh, wow. <laughs> I feel like this is a lot more options than I had before in previous games. I guess some kind of a mod got installed or something from one of my friends. But that is actually the tribal village mark, so I guess I'll use that. Uh, builder. Come back here, and we're going to do the animal encampment that I said we were going to do. Oh, a scout. Jump him! And now we have met Vilnius. Or Vilnius? I'm not sure. Um, for the highest active alliance level, all your theater square districts receive plus 50% adjacency bonus. Hmm. 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 The unit needs orders. Um. Hmm. That's a Wakanda scout. Alright, next turn. Oh, some unit needed orders. 
Ah, uh, the shield brother. Um, alert. Actually, I mean, that seems like such a waste, but... I would like to have something on the city. Um... Honestly, how many turns... If I moved you, how many turns... 13, huh? That's a pretty serious commitment for that tribal village there, buddy. Let's do it. <laughs> oh, look at that scout. Commit suicide on my scout. Cray Malkin needs more housing to keep growing. Um... That's cool and all, but build that mine. <laughs> I need that uranium, yo. So I can produce that Hulk link. <sighs> I'm still going to wait on that granary, though. That's definitely the thing that it needs here. More than a lot of other things. What does the coral reef do again? Plus three food and plus two science. Wish I could improve that. Which tile are we trying to purchase next? The rice. Yeah, we should go that way first, right? Try to get this tile and then this tile so Mohinjo Daro doesn't beat us out of our own territory. Maybe, uh, <laughs> next time my government unlocks, I can get the policy that lets me, uh, reduce the cost of purchasing a tile by 20%. I can just purchase all of this so that way they can't take it from us. So you, yes. Um, sit on the capital and also heal. Unit needs orders. Yes, build the animal thing that I wanted. And then the scout. Um, let's get into some safe territory and then I'll probably have it heal next turn. It was a fantastic landscape. Oh, Mount Roraima. All around were rocks of the weirdest forms, standing in apparently impossible positions. Some placed on or next to others in ways that seemed to defy every law of gravity. Huh. Ooh. So I met Lisbon, which has that natural territory, or that natural uh, wonder in its territory. This back here, I think. Yeah, four tile impassable natural wonder appears as a mountain and provides plus one faith and plus one science to adjacent tiles. And it's four tiles long. Oh, that's crazy good. And that is the uh it's a uh, economic city state, so plus four gold in the capital if I just go ahead and Woo, if I just go ahead and grab it. Uh, they have a somebody has put their diplomat here. But it's an unmet civilization, so that means if I keep going this way, I will eventually meet another civilization. So you... Yeah, that horseman will wreck us. So I need to get across this river at the very least to try to provide some defense. And then... Where is my... That's my other... Oh, yeah, I already did that with the scout. I moved stuff around in here. And yeah, next turn. Gotham and used a I warrior. Is a tall Clear ship. barbarian outpost. And a... Psh. 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 Next research. Ah, uh, archery. Whatever. <laughs> let's, let's backtrack it. Let's backtrack it. Although I think I should probably get this, huh? Shipbuilding. That Colossi. Ooh. So one of my cities I should absolutely dedicate to a harbor, and the other one I should absolutely dedicate to a commercial hub. Which one is which one, though? Do I have cattle anywhere in my territory? Sheep. Copper cattle. If I move this direction, I would. Although that's not really, that's not really been the plan. Cattle. One, two, three. <sighs> I 
Let me look at something real quick. Now, this is kind of late in the tech tree, but it is very good. Uh, yeah, Great Zimbabwe. Plus two gold for every bonus resources when three tiles of the city and in the city's territory must be built adjacent to a commercial hub district with a market and adjacent to cattle. So I will, I'll be able to build in this tile, which is adjacent to cattle. So if I get rid of these horses and put a commercial hub there with a market, maybe I can do... No, I couldn't though because it has to be adjacent to both of them. Well, I could put a commercial district here, and then maybe I could build Great Zimbabwe here. It's a really good, it's a really good wonder, is, or, wonder? Yeah, a really good wonder to have. All these Preslavian warriors getting all up in my business. Uh, which unit needs orders? My warrior. Um... You're going to go to New York and just, like, chill there so that I have a, I have someone stationed. And then you, the builder, I think I will put you... Let's move you here eventually. And then the scout... Yeah, you need to heal, buddy. Oh, and he did attack us. Um, but if we fortify, we might be able to hold him off. Yeah, you should be. See, Black Mana is impressed with the depths of our scientific research, because we're doing really good, yeah. Greetings, Traveler! You should know that you stand in the presence of greatness! It's an honor to meet you. Neither of us hails from nearby, but perhaps we should mark our homelands on each other's maps. Uh, exchanging information on our capitals is a great idea. It should help promote trade. So you, Castle Loki. I shot an arrow into the air. It fell to earth. I knew not where. The poets have been mysteriously silent on the subject of cheese. <laughs> Hmm. And he has relationships with another player that I have not met. So there must be either north of him or maybe out here there'll be another one. And then yeah, he has Lois Lane in Lisbon. Which I cannot blame him at all for that. Our government unlocked. So let's go ahead and do what we said. We're going to change out that one for that. And then, I think I'm going to go ahead, since I did have to build, I'm going to go ahead and do this so I can get a Great Prophet. And then once I get a Great Prophet, we'll probably switch that out for the Great Scientist. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So choosing research. Uh... Hmm. Can't worry about Petra. Could get the Terracotta army, but don't really want to. Ship over. Choose Civic. Um, let me think here. I didn't miss any back there that had extra dudes. I could get Governor titles. Great Library is fantastic. Yeah, let's go ahead and do that next. In New York City, um, Oracle, if we can, although I want it, like, distinctly out of the way. I don't really want anything else near it. I'd almost rather put it out here somewhere, like, away from everything, but... Um... Yeah. Yeah, let's do it there. And then you're going to move there. And I'll probably... I'm just going to go ahead and buy the terrain over here in Grey Malkin. Uh, so, man, and this is going to be a lot, which is the sad part. But there, 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 and there. 
One, two, three. Yeah. And we'll leave this one open for now. If they expand here, then we'll have to go ahead and purchase this one. But I, I want to make sure that this city has got the room it needs to expand without Mohenjo-Daro trying to take it from us. So next turn we'll probably buy those bananas as well, though. We do have the extra money to throw around, so it's not like I'm really worried about it. Okay, so let's advance and see what happens. What happened with my scout over here? Man, I guess they either drove the horsemen off or... Uh, maybe they killed it. Choose production in Grey Malkin. Um... I kind of think Grey Malkin should have my harbor in New York City should have my commercial hub. No, no, no. I need it the other way around. Grey Malkin has to have the commercial hub because of the potentially nearby cattle situation. So... We'll build a campus first, because campus I are great and well worth having. And then, yeah, let's go ahead and buy these stupid bananas. And you build me a plantation there. That scout's coming along. There's a barbarian scout from up there, though. I wonder where it's coming from. It's got to be somewhere up here. Uh-huh. No barbarians being revealed near our cities. Is that something you just kind of have to keep keep a watch out for? Just a little bit. Although, mmm, there's one there. So that means there's probably a barbarian down here somewhere. When our shield brother gets down here to this tribal village, we might have him take a little bit of a look around there, see if he can find a barbarian to kill. We moved that scout. See so your next turn. Why do you not seek to purge the world of villainous scum? The world needs order and you deny it. Oh. Open borders, you say. You want me to give you open borders? But you not to give me open borders? I don't think so. Um. Yeah. And in fact, just to maybe, like, sweeten the deal with you, I'll give you one gold. Yeah. There we go. So where did this tribal city go off? Right in there, huh? Okay, so grab that first, and then continue on your journey down there. Unit needs orders. You're fully healed. Okay, so you're going to become an archer. Good, good, good. Next turn. Hmm, I can't mess with that guy because it's inside of Vilnius's territory and I'd have to like declare war on them to be able to go in there and grab him. It's very unfortunate. So let's hold off on that for a second. Let's look at you. Did I have a goal here? I don't think I did. I think I'll just go around Lisbon. Ooh. I met Antioch. Okay. You are now on alert, Grey Malkin Archer. Number numero uno. And you... Let's have you move... Uh, I'm not sure what happened there. My scout freaked out and decided to not move. At all. <laughs> or... Is he cohabitating with an archer?
I'm not sure. I'm going to try to corner this scout for them. I really wish I could step in there and attack it, but it won't let me. So, I'm just going to help them kill it, basically. You alert for now. Uh, skip turn. Okay. And where's that shield brother coming along nicely excellent I can claim a great person the great prophet Lao Zi Lao Tzu I'm not actually sure how to pronounce his name great guy Ooh, Wakanda already on that great scientist train, hardcore. I'm gonna have to jump all over that. But yeah, we'll recruit him, and then move him into our holy district, and then found us a religion. <sighs> so let's see. What would be... What would be a good symbol... here... for Stan Lee choosing a religion which one of these strikes me as some mix between stand up for what's right no matter what and also like a great power great responsibility kind of a thing or maybe I should just do the yin yang and be like oh yeah I mean there's no light without darkness and vice versa yeah I'm thinking And then let's do for the name here. Oh, can I not change the name if it, if I choose an actual like thing? I thought I could do that. I'm heartbroken. I have to go with Taoism as the name. Ugh. Ugh. Shrines and temples provide culture equal to their intrinsic faith output. That's a great one. Plus one amenity in cities with two specialty districts. That's not bad either. Relics have triple yield of both faith and tourism. <sighs> That's a good one. That's a good one. Tourism, culture will probably be our victory condition if we continue to play this one. Honestly. Um really hoping to just set up trade stuff with everybody and defend us just enough so that people can't kill us. Yeah, probably reliquaries. And then for this, I'm not really, I mean like faith is good and all, but let me look around here. Hmm. 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 Tithe is really good. Stewardship is really not bad, but I'd have to focus more on commercial hubs, and I want to kind of split that up a little bit. Each holy site or theater square district in a city following this religion provides plus one faith or plus one culture, respectively. That's also not bad. <sighs> the Dar Imar gets so much faith over time, but are already outside of the first one, and I just don't think that it would provide us enough that we'd really need to mess with that. Now, honestly, again, faith is not the main goal here. It's just helping us out with the religious stuff. <laughs> Although we could use it to produce great people points, and that would not be a bad thing either. Because we can patron them through faith. Gold or faith, either one. <laughs> so, maybe a synagogue? 
Or Dari Mar. Yeah, let's go ahead and get that. Whatever. Uh, found this religion. <laughs> Please ignore all those other ones. Okay. So, man, the scout. Uh, I mean, like, honestly, if they can't handle this scout, then they don't really deserve their place. I'm just gonna leave. Then, flip over here. Buenos Aires. Let's real quick look at our city-state quest. What do we got here? Construct an encampment. Uh, military training. Commercial hub. Great engineer. Eureka for mathematics. Great writer. Encampment. Great merchant. Trade route. And recorded history. So, encampment's in there twice. I really don't want to build an encampment, though. That's the unfortunate thing. So I probably just won't get that one. Great merchant will be something we do naturally. Too bad none of them were great profit, huh? So we just did that. Which I think next turn, I guess. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Got that campus done. Your people celebrate a historic moment, walking the quads and lingering outside classrooms of the campus near Grey Malkin. You can hear scholars debate the ideas that will change the world. True believers. Okay, so then, go ahead and build a library. Get that out of the way. Fill policy slot. Yeah, because I no longer need the great profit thing. So yeah, great scientists. Let's go ahead and bam that up a notch. Although, we do have recruiting a great prophet, or a great writer, as one of the uh, the main things for us. And our science output's not doing bad, so let's go ahead and do that. Yeah. Now, let's have you kind of traipse off and look around a little bit. Well, can I not... Oh, I can't. That's gross. Okay. So we're not doing bad here with Black Panther. I'm going to try to send him a delegation. Yeah, good. Good. See, a lot of times, like I said, every now and then you can get them to accept one if they haven't sent you one. But yeah. let's see. None of these, we cannot trade all the way out to Lisbon, unfortunately. That's too far away. So we're going to have to go to Brussels? No, we can't even do that. We should probably build a road between here and Grey Malkin, honestly, is kind of like our first thing. But if we go to Mahenjo-Daro, we'll get a road to Grey Malkin, which is kind of like half the point. See, so yeah, I guess that's going to be our next route. We need to get a trade route extender going that direction. I cannot imagine any condition which would cause a ship to founder. Modern shipbuilding has gone beyond that. Ooh, a poignant, poignant quote. Apprenticeship, probably going to be our next big step. Geneva. Red Hood. What does Geneva want us to do? Construct a campus. Oh, we just did that! Ugh! Oh, what a missed opportunity! I mean, not really, because by missed opportunity, I mean like, oh my goodness, we would, I mean, we're going to build another one anyways. Will you receive our diplomatic delegation in your capital? Your delegation is most welcome. Excellent. Very good. Yes, absolutely. Thank you. Oh my goodness, I thought we'd already done I that. upon the swift ship in the form of a dolphin. Pray to me as Apollo Delphinius, 
Also, the altar itself shall be called Delphinius and overlooked forever. We got the oracle. No hour of life is wasted that is spent in the saddle. History is the version of past events that people have decided to agree upon. <laughs> Again, poignant. <gasps> we lost Suzerain in Babylon? Who took it from us? I wonder. Ah, Wakanda. They sent their... their person there. Oh, but that's not actually the one that we had as our main. Kamasi is our main, right? Yeah. That's the one where we actually sent our Lois Lane. Even though it has the artwork for the old one right now for some reason. So choose our civic. We got that. Mm. Feudalism would be a great one just for that farm improvement. Chichen Itza. I don't have enough rainforest to really make use of that. Taj Mahal. That's pretty far away. I don't need to really think about that. Let's go ahead and get games and recreation out of the way. Hmm. <clears throat> or, how do I get temples? Because I don't have those yet. There we go. Get theology first. Since that's needed for our special building, and we do want to get that built pretty quick. Uh, so yeah, a campus here would be a great idea. We don't really have a good solid... Um, I mean, I guess, yeah, this is the only two places it could really successfully be built. Because they the campuses, everything has like an adjacency bonus, if you've never played before. <laughs> Outward got you going, huh, Jingles? Okay, so yeah, never playing Civ before. Uh, every district has an adjacency where it gets bonus yields from certain things. Campuses get theirs from mountains and also other uh, great, like, central buildings. So yeah, this is going to be... Yeah, there's just nothing for it. It's It's got to be one side or the other, and it might as well just be that one. Unit needs orders. Let's move you over and up. And then who? Fortify. <laughs> That's nice. I don't really care. Where are we producing? Gray Malkin. Um, you. You, you, you. Once again, this is like, it's a thing where I don't want to do it, but I probably should because it provides me with significant bonuses. Is build a, uh, build the stupid encampment. I mean, at least over here, this is, like, almost a wasted tile in terms of, like, what I could be producing here. So, yeah, let's go ahead and go up there. Sand Envoy. Hmm... Geneva. Oh, I've got one more. Okay. Um, yeah. Huh. 
Where is this scat out? Compared to the other one. Whose territory is this? Oh, Gotham. Huh. Really? Paris. Alright. The other one I already moved away from that encampment. Good. Good. Oh. <laughs> There's a lot of stuff going on here. Stockholm. Alright. Construct a theater square. I'm thinking there's a lot of territory out this way, but I haven't explored over here at all. Maybe I should get another scout and send him down that way. Oh, hey, I can get a new governor. <sighs> or I could promote her again. Let's see, what are her promotions? Yeah. Let's go ahead and get her leveled up before we start worrying about the other one. Government stuff. Hmm. Mm. I'm thinking I should get another scout. Ooh, or a galley. I could have a galley go out and start going around. That does provide an error score bonus as well. We need 75 to earn our next golden age and sea exploration stuff can help you with that for sure there is no easy way to train an apprentice we can no more have exact religious thinking Okay, so now that we've done that, we can kind of diversify a little bit. I just wanted to make sure we were going to be one of the first ones to get there. Yeah, that'll that'll take a while to get to. That's probably like a good a good thing for us to aim towards. Our culture is kind of suffering here, so hey, we don't have one in Vilnius. Let's go ahead and grab that. Let's uh let's talk to Red Hood here. Let's make a deal. Can we just do open borders? Good. And then I'll give you one gold. Just to sweeten the deal. Cool. Because I would really like to not have to move all the way across your border lines here. Cool.
Who? Mohenjo Daro is trading with us, even. Maybe with our capital, we'll see. That's nice. I did not even realize that was going on. Oh, something happened. When wasteful war shall statues overturn, and broils root. Need more housing in Grey Malkin. Let's see. I don't actually remember how to get more housing. Construct building, Temple of Artemis, place improvement, farm, fishing boats, pasture, plantation, camp, or farm. Um, so essentially all of that means we need another builder. So let's go ahead and... Although I'd really like to... We've got to do that. Can I just buy a builder? Do I have enough for that? I do. Let's just do that. Send another envoy. Do we have a culture city-state that we're not in yet? No. But we do have two gold ones and a science one. We're not doing bad on science, though, so let's go ahead and get... Which one's closer, Antioch or Lisbon? I think they're both kind of far away, honestly. Lisbon. Antioch. Yeah, they're, they're both pretty much exactly the same far away. So let's go ahead and we'll put one in Antioch. Just get us that gold bonus. And the next turn we'll be able to use that builder to uh, get ourselves some more uh, stuff around there. But we have to, since we just bought it this turn, we have to wait until next turn to to pick up on it. And then as for you, shield brother... Um, yeah, let's actually have you go over here. I'm trying to see who our other civilization is. I'd really like to meet them. Four building blocks of the universe are fire, water, gravel, and vinyl. People who cannot find time for recreation are sooner or later to find time for illness. Ain't that the truth? Got quite a few advancements there. Became the first suzerain over Brussels when we uh, researched or got an encampment, which is the thing they wanted us to do. So we also got a free envoy somewhere else. I just don't remember where. Um, for here, though... Oh. Well, that's pretty, pretty darn good. Flatland adjacent to a campus building. Well, I'd like to leave that mountains open, so yeah, we'll grab this tile and we'll put it there. Send envoy. Lisbon. Only one we've got left is Stockholm. Which admittedly their bonus is pretty good, right? Yeah. Their bonus is really good. So I do want to get on them, but I want to get <sighs> I want to kinda of even out my resources. So you you will grab us these horses. Come up to this mountain. Oh. Are these all Gotham units? Okay. <laughs> For a second there, I was like, oh no, what have I done? I've killed my scout with all these barbarian units. Fortunately, it was not that. My delegate, Mary Jane Watson, learned that Wakanda is expanding, adding a new settlement, Njaka, 
Jakarta. Unjdaka. Is that? I have no idea. I'm sorry to everybody who speaks languages that are similar to Wakandese. Because <laughs> I do not know how to say any of the words that are related to that. Should it be Wakandis? Who knows? I don't know that. And of course, me being me, my very natural reaction is to say something about, like, Wakandis nuts. <laughs> but uh, I don't think that would be very, uh, very good times. Claim a great person. Hey, we got a great scientist. We got Euclid. Triggers the Eureka for mathematics and one random technology from the medieval era. Let's recruit him. Heck yeah. And then where did, did he spawn? At our capital or at the other one? He is there. So we need him to move to there. And then we can trigger his, his effect. Nice. Nice. I think we needed mathematics for something. Like somebody wanted us to trigger the thing for that. So we probably got a random bonus somewhere in there. Um, yeah, I'll have you grab... I'll have you grab that rice. Ooh, we're starting to finally hit the north cap here. Um, so we'll have you start... Yosemite Valley Ooh. to me is always a sunrise. A glitter of green and golden wonder in a vast edifice of stone and space. Yosemite Valley? Is that this one? Two tile, impassable, natural wonder provides plus one gold and plus one science to adjacent tiles. So kind of like a lesser version of that other one that we already saw somewhere else. But hey, error score is error score. As for you... Let's see. Those barbarians were over here. So I don't want to be... I don't necessarily want to go that way, but I don't want to be too afraid to go that way, you know? I've got to eventually explore everything. Defense is superior to opulence. Yeah, buddy. Where is... What can we purchase with faith? Is it just the Dari Ma? Oh, no. So we need to save it for an apostle, because that can get us additional religious beliefs. So 265 is kind of what we're shooting for there. And we're not far off. We're at 252. So we're getting there. We are definitely getting there. We do need to change up our government policies just a bit here. Because we don't we're not really into buying land now. So let's see, what are we trying to do? Hmm. It's actually not a bad one for us right now. Plus one housing in all cities with at least two specialty districts. But I, I hate using these because then I feel like you, you start to rely on them, and I don't want to leave that as the thing for all time in that, that slot. Um, we could, yeah, let's do this. Plus one hundred percent campus ad adjacency bonuses. Ooh, boost that science up, boy. Then we got a governor title. Promote. And how many... That's us. So how many do we just naturally have here? Like, could I move her and still have that? Because, man, again, getting that one for Stockholm is... Well, that's theater square stuff, though. And we don't actually have one of those built yet. I just, that is really good, just not good for us necessarily right now. Oh, Geneva would be a great one for us to have. Um, let's put the one that we've gained in Stockholm for now. 
Ah, uh, no. Let's put it in Lisbon. Okay, so I was going this way, right? Yeah. I was trying to close the gap here. I honestly think... Yeah, there we go. Hey! We're the first one to meet them, so they gave us a free one. Man, so there's nobody else out here, I guess. Loki just got really unlucky by not going there. Two sixty-five. Hey, let's head back over. Where's New York? Purchase with faith. Get us an apostle. Next turn, we can evangelize. Probably that's the edge of the map there. Ah, uh, yeah, evangelize belief. <laughs> so we can get a new belief here. Um, let's take a look around. So this is actually kind of the same options we had when we chose reliquaries. Let's uh, let's grab stewardship. And then you built that farm for me, so now over here and grab these horses. Probably that is the edge of the map, going down to Buenos Aires. So, we'll circle around. Oh, wish I had really paid attention that that was coming up, because we could have built that and just gotten two apostles honestly we should probably think about building another settler although I haven't really scouted out a great location for it we didn't have any iron or very much iron in our starting territory we only had one that like we spawned on like it was underneath one of our capitals there so we might look around at that, but it might also be good for us to do something like down here. Like I know we'd be really encroaching on some other territories here between these three city states, but two, three T's, another cattle, two cattle, some dyes. Luxuries would be nice to spread around a little bit. I just I don't really want to fight all those guys for it. Not crazy about the desert over here, and it's just like wheat and animals anyways. Could move over here, and that would give us olives, wheat, some more cattle, stone, depending on where I place it. Mostly olives, though. Like, I could put it right here, and I'd have access to so many things. T2, right? One, two, three. Yeah, T. Olives. Yeah, that's actually a pretty dynamite place for us to... Yeah, let's go ahead and start making a uh, settler. And we've got a warrior here to... Uh, to follow it around when it pops. Um, hem, hem, hem. And... Hem, hem, hem. I'm going to dive back out of the the ice train and start exploring some of this area. I 
I wonder... Okay, so... Black Manta... Has negative with the Red Hood. He has... He has met the other one. Man, am I, like, really the only one? Black Panther, negative with Red Hood. Loki, negative with Red Hood. Okay, so... He's kind of neutral. I'm, I'm looking at potentially declaring friendship here, and I'm thinking about it. I just don't want to... I don't want to get myself embroiled in a war. Nobody is negative towards Black Panther. Oh no, he is. Okay. Is anybody negative towards Black Manta? No. Okay. So this is going to sound weird, right? But I'm going to declare friendship with him if he'll let me. Yeah. We're declared friend now. So, he will give us some more diplomatic info, and also he'll be, like, more friendly towards us. <sighs> I, I, there's a part of me that kind of wonders if I could just go down the line and do this. Like, will you do it? Yes. And, yeah. Yeah. So now we've got... Basically, since we're a declared friend, they uh, have given us like a higher level of diplomatic visibility so we can see what's going on with them more. And then also, um, I'm pretty sure like that keeps them from attacking us. And also, like trade steals from them might be a little bit better. So yeah, I think we're doing pretty good there. So this scout, which one are you... Really, you're just coming back to fill in territory? Ooh, an archer. Attack her. Or him, or whatever that is. I'll have to figure out where that encampment is. You. Like to the apples on Ooh. the Dead Sea shore, or <laughs> ashes to the taste. A completely landlocked Dead Sea. Two-tile natural wonder, it appears as a lake and provides plus two faith and plus two culture. Units heal completely if they heal for one turn adjacent to the Dead Sea. Does not provide fresh water. So yeah, man, you're going to come here and you're going to heal. That's what's going to happen there. And now we're at 75, so we're going to continue the Golden Age train. Whoop, whoop! Okay. Welp... Let's hit next turn and see what happens. Blast. Build. Battle. Ooh, now we can see where Niter is. So let's see, where is that next city we were can, we were thinking about? Yeah, sadly, no... No Niter around it. But still, it'll get us so many luxury resources that it'll be real nice to have. So I'm still going to place there, I think. But actually, you know, that is a great place for us to end. And it's time for the stream to end. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, if you did, please, please leave a like down below. Uh, subscribe if you're new. Follow me on Twitch. Follow me on YouTube. Hit that notification bell. Yada, yada. All the stuff you hear at the end of every video. And uh, I will see you guys in the next stream. Later!